All right, guys. I'm in the home office today. New box of parts. I just got the tape off of it, but I haven't unboxed anything yet. So today, we're going to take a look at the uh, the flip kit for 67 to 72 GM trucks with leaf springs. A lot of you guys have C10s. They run coil springs, but GMCs like mine actually came with leafs from the factory uh, as standard equipment and coils optional. C10s were the other way around. They had coils as standard equipment, leaf springs optional. So we're going to drop the back of this truck five inches. This kit's going to do it for us. Let's take a look. All right, here we go. Let's, let's see. Packaged up pretty nicely. Got some instructions. Got some stickers. We'll take a look at that in a minute. We've got some hardware. Pretty heavy stuff. We've got bump stops, which I'm pretty sure we're going to have to uh, order a... Uh, CPP notch kit, which that comes with its own set of bump stops, I think. View bolts. And got some more U bolts. Yeah. Gonna get dirty today. All right. But this stuff looks a little bit different than it did online. It looked like it was almost like a crinkle gray look online. Um, this is where your axle sits in. That hole right there actually moves the axle back because as the axle comes up, it will move forward. Just how it's in the, uh, just how that leaf spring setup works. Really, how the the coil spring setup works too. These are heavy, nicely done. The welds look pretty good on there. There's a little bit of slag, but the powder coating looks pretty nice. Um, so yeah, happy with that. Let's see, there's another one in that, so we will, we've got everything wrapped up too, where it looks like it won't really chip that much. All right, let's see. move our U-bolts, let's come over here and see the other half of this. There we go. Different parts and pieces. It's hard to tell what's what without everything off together. And here's some more plates. Yeah, now this, I mean, this stuff is heavy. It's super thick. Uh, I am, I'm very pleased with how it looks. Um, just gonna wrap everything back up here and get it back in this. Get it back in this box. And we'll take a look at the directions. All right, so let's take a look. We've got some stickers. I'm not a big sticker guy on the truck. I might throw these on the toolbox. Oh, a little ghost decal there. And you can also get these, these online. Uh, oh, look, bigger sticker. How about that? No, it's not a sticker. Bummer. Installation guide. Color instructions. This, let's see, don't skip this step. Measure the ride height before you start and then record your measurements after you finish when trying to diagnose a problem beforehand. Your measurements, okay. Read your instructions carefully. I really thought that was a huge sticker. I just said I wasn't a sticker guy, and I, I liked it. So you can find this uh, instruction sheet on DJM's website. Uh, I uh, I installed the the DJM um, coils and shocks on the front of the truck. Uh, they were three inch drop coils, and uh, in in their shocks that measure out uh so far so ha so good i'm happy with it uh, the truck needs to be aligned but i want to get everything done first before i align it so that's probably going to go beyond this obviously and i'm gonna i'm gonna probably do the the two and a half inch uh, drop spindles and just put disc brakes on the truck all in one shot and get a kit for right under 700 bucks off summit that does that and it'll pair with everything and then once it's sitting where i want it to be go ahead and get it aligned and, and and drive it so um so yeah so the the instructions are 
are pretty detailed. Um, you know, you can look here and you know, what I've got looks a little bit different than this. It looks like they've kind of, um, they've updated their kit a little bit. Uh, and I've read a couple reviews on this and people say they work and everything, but they just talked about the powder coating flaking off. It looks like they've changed all that. And, um, I mean, it, it looks like a pretty substantial kit. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked on that and can't wait to, to get that put on. All right, guys, so today's Tuesday. Um, I have a, a little bit of a long weekend, um, so I'll have some time to work on this this weekend. Uh, probably start on it Friday, maybe Thursday evening, but start on it, uh, really get, get in the weeds on it Friday. We'll document the whole thing, but yeah, uh, the kit looks good. Um, everything, you know, seems pretty sturdy. I'm really happy with the powder coating on there. I was kind of expecting to maybe have to hit it with a rattle can. It doesn't look like that at all. It, it looks like this is, uh, this is pretty legit stuff. It looks like it'll hold up to it. It's not that crinkle gray. Um, and in the quality of the front suspension parts that I got, granted it was just coil springs and shocks. They were super good too. Uh, I do have shocks on the way from DJM as well to fit the back. Uh, so hopefully those will be in. If not, uh, we'll still get this installed on. Obviously we, I don't think it's a smart idea to go, go drive it with no shocks, especially since we're probably going to have to notch the frame because it's the the leaf springs on this truck are pretty worn out and i think somebody put a drop shackle on it too so we might actually end up with more than five inches of drop from this kit uh over stock obviously the kit's just going to drop at five inches but with the worn out springs and stuff and me not knowing if somebody put a drop shackle on this thing um we could be pretty close to the frame so anyways uh, that's the kit. Uh, everything looks pretty good, and I will make sure to uh, update you guys and, and put a full-length video out of putting on that that flip kit. Um, if I have the shocks, I'll install those in the video too. They're supposed to be here uh, on Thursday or Friday. Um, if not, you guys know how to put shocks on. It's not a big deal. Uh, the only thing you know I might run into is I might need to put some uh, extenders on or move the the shock, the the top mount pin. Um, but that seems pretty easy too. Uh, but anyways, that's going to do it for this quick little update. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, we'll get more to you when we have more to get to you. All right. Thanks, you guys.